professional foundation. So what we do, we focus on the community awareness. So what we do, we do lecture and screening to really help the patient to recognize, uh, you know, raising awareness. Either this could be your blood pressure, your uh, stress level, like what you guys are attending today. So today we mainly focus and we're going to talk about stress, how you be able to maintain your stress level and how to deal with it and how to really, the number one focus is how to prevent it of all the problems or disease that might come in the future, okay? Well, I would like to talk really quick about myself. Well, it's interesting that I do a lecture here. I uh, graduated from uh, Rosewood High School back in the year 2004. I work here, volunteering in exactly the same library in the year 2001 all the way to 2002. In the sophomore freshman year, and I volunteer here, and I really see a big change in this library. Back in the day, this room is not have a lot of technology stuff, and now it's all the technology here is more advanced, and even I am trying to figure out and playing around with it. We're usually hosting the community event here at like, uh, Christmas and a uh, haunted house here. So we usually have uh, like Halloween theme that have a kid come in and I was part of it. I'm really great and really happy to be back here and I cannot believe that one day I'm going to stand in this room and giving a lecture. <laughs> so, and um, I graduate from uh, Southern California University of Health and Science. I earned a degree in Doctor of Chiropractic. And uh, at undergraduate, I earned a BS degree in Human Biology and Physiology in Cleveland Chiropractic College. And uh, I graduated uh, back in 2012. So today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the stress and how you could be able to handle with it and what stress could do. Okay? Okay, don't let stress to make your life a mess. So that is the theme of today's lecture. And um, I'm part of the United Multi Health Care Center. We are a multidisciplinary practice. We have seven doctors on staff, including myself. We have acupuncturists and massage and PT. So what would the whole goal of the United Multi Health Care is what? We really want to try to create something, I could, you could call it a one-stop. Pretty much the place that the patient is going to go in and they found whatever the, the naturalistic approach, the most conservative way that help you to deal with whatever the problem you might have. Because the thing is, we do believe that the medical intervention do take their place. But if we try to avoid it, if we try to limit the patient to be able to get the exposed to those, we will try. We try our best to do the most conservative way. And 80% 80, 80 of our patients don't even have to go to the medical intervention at all. So that's a goal and a purpose of our practice. Next. Okay. Are you talking about that? So we have two locations, one in the city of Rosemead, and the second one is located in the city of Roland Heights. And uh, the address is not on there, but I have it on my cart, and you guys can take a look at it if you guys are interested. Okay, so let's talk about stress survey really quick. So you guys already filled this one out, right? So, so you guys put the most general information and please try your best to fill out as much information as possible because I, if you want, I could sit down with you and talk a little bit more detail about the information you fill out, okay? So that's for the stress survey.
three quar uh, quarters of the medical bankrupt had to have health insurance and uh, by the time of their illness. Okay, the most sickness is all related to stress. And how can we stop stressing? Don't, don't let stress make your life a mess, right? Okay. So I have some fun cartoon right there. Now how many of you guys have multitasking? Sometimes you found yourself that only, not just do one thing, you try to do multiple things at the same time, right? Including myself. The next, uh, the guy next to me got fired, now they expect me to do his work too. How many of us have gone into that same situation? Oh, <laughs> right, your desk is piled with work. And this is just not, like almost everyone has run into this same problem, including myself sometimes. And you have to scream out help, right? And stop stressing and start living. Okay, life is full of pressure, frustration, and stress. Okay, because we worry about many different things, about job security and how really we could pay the bill. And uh, it's just not that, it's just not money issues. Sometimes we run into the relationship and how you deal with families and all those things that add to the stress and create stress. So more than half of Americans report being concerned about the stress for everyday life. So that's the reason why you guys feel out this stress survey so I could explain to you guys.